Hey everybody, welcome to episode 13. Appreciate you joining in. As always, I, was, I always say continue to subscribe, continue to share, tell your friends about it. Um, any questions or comments you have, please drop a comment below and I definitely get to it in the next episode. Uh, I know I've been missing for the past two weeks. Um, definitely had, you know, took a little break, did some other stuff. Um, didn't have a lot of time to pretty much make videos. Um, but I'm definitely back, you know, I definitely want to keep you all in the loop on what I'm doing in the stock market because as always, I'm always in the stock market. Um, the past two weeks has been a little up and down as far as the market goes. Um, so I definitely want to get on here and give you all a quick video, let you all know how I'm feeling moving forward. Um, and you know, some of the things that I'm looking into, um, as far as, you know, president speeches, things like that. Um, so like I always say, thank you all for joining in, continue to, uh, share and subscribe and support the page. Um, and as always, like I just said before, if you have any questions or any comments, please drop one below. Um, I'm like, I'm, I'm not a professional trader or anything like that. I'm just a regular trader, you know, given my trading, um, you know, experiences and things like that. And some of the stocks that I'm in, um, but I always say, don't take anything as I, what I'm saying on here as a, you know, as a recommendation to buy or a recommendation to sell. That's not the goal of this channel. Um, but to get into this week's episode, like I said, I want to definitely make it short and sweet. Um, you know, touch a few topics here and there as far as, you know, like I said, Biden, some of the Biden speeches um, and some of the things I'm seeing and, you know, some of the trends I'm seeing moving forward in the coming weeks. Um, so with that being said, this coming up week um, and just like the past two weeks, uh, personally, I think last week was like a bull trap. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know, pretty much, you know, stocks go up. It sets you up to think, you know, the stock market is turning around, it's, you know, it's had done with its correction. So it continued to go up. Um, and I see in some sectors. It's just no news came out. It was just pretty much bouncing from its low, going back up to, you know, where it was at before, you know, the previous two weeks or the previous month before. Uh, but my thing is, I, I view those as bull traps because it pretty much makes you think the market is going up. Um, so you start to buy and buy and buy and then boom, the market dropped. Um, right now, I, personally, like I always tell people, play it definitely safe. Um, I just see the market, you know, still on its little downtrend right now. Um, I don't really see, you know, things jumping as much as they should. Um, I know some of those cryptocurrencies have jumped, like Dogecoin, things like that. Um, the past two weeks has been amazing. Um, but as you can see, as I always say, those coins still follow Bitcoin, right? So when Bitcoin is dropping as a whole, you're going to see those coins and any other thing that is following that uh, cryptocurrency trend line drop, right? And um, Bitcoin, I think, went down. Uh, it, it was at previous high was like 63. Now it's like 47, 48. Um, so that's when you see those stocks, those same stocks that are, you know, sentiment plays to those uh, pretty much go down just like when Bitcoin go down. Um, that's the same thing I view with Dogecoin. I view it, you know, it, it had its run, it's going to go down, and then it's going to have another run. Um, and it's all dependent on timing and when you get into it. Personally, um, you know, when I'm looking at Dogecoin, I'm looking at, okay, it's going down, it's going down. Then I'm starting to look into entry plays, right? Um, I start getting me a little couple, maybe a thousand, two thousand of them. And then as it drops even lower, my average down. Um, and then, you know, if it goes up, perfect, fine, I make money and pull my money out. Um, but that's the way I'm playing that just because I view all cryptos, including Bitcoin, it's just very volatile, um, something that I don't want to stay in too long because you can lose a lot of money over time if you stay in too long. But you can also see yourself make good money if you time it right and get into it when it's on its downtrend. That way, when it's all the way back, going back up, that's when you're making that money and not having to worry about seeing yourself lose money or getting to it at its, at its peak, you know? Because I'm pretty sure a lot of people might have gotten to Dogecoin when it was at 42 cent at its peak. Uh, but then now you see it back down to 20, in the 20, 20, 30 cent range, right? Um, it's all about playing the downtrend and getting out when it's rising and rising and rising. And that's the same thing you do with stocks. <clears throat> um, and that's what I, you know, I focus on when I'm trading stocks. I try to make sure that I'm getting in on a downtrend when, you know, everybody's fearful of the stock. Nobody wants to buy it. It's cheaper than, you know, what his previous high was. That's when I start seeing buying opportunities, things like that. Um, I know also this past week, Biden, he toured um, an electric bus maker called uh, Proterra, right? Um, they make electric buses. Um, and that's something that he wouldn't go tour. And he was saying, you know, we need to push as far as our country, we need to push more towards electric vehicles, things like that, um, just to clean, clean up some of those carbon, you know, and those, some of those bad emissions that's being pushed out. Um, and just looking into that, as I said in previous episodes, that's something I'm focused on. I'm focused on that infrastructure uh, package. Until it's passed or until it's denied, I'm, I think all stocks <clears throat> are going to continue to rise and drop 
as he's given more information, as more things are given on that package, as, as close as we get to it being passed or not passed, you're going to see stocks that's in that market or in that industry go up and down, up and down, up and down. Um, and just looking at Proterra, you know, they're, I think they're amazing. You know, when I'm looking at what they're doing and some of the stuff that they're doing. Um, and then I, you know, personally, I did research on them, looked at, okay, how do I get into this type of company that Biden went to go tour, went to go visit? Um, and that's when I found a company uh, that they merged with, right? So it's a blank check company um, that they used to become public. Um, and it's called ACTC. Automatically, I wanted to start investing to it. Um, once I heard Biden was going there, you know, Biden was there looking at him. Um, that just automatically gives me uh, an idea of, okay, this is one of the companies that's already on the radar. If this stuff, if we start pushing for, you know, forward with electric vehicles and things like that, this is one of the companies that's already on the radar. They might get some type of funding, right? Um, and for me, I play rumors. So if it's the rumor that they might get it and the stock is going up, that's perfect for me because I'm in the stock and I can get out as that rumor is rising and bubbling um, before it actually drops, you know, because a rumor is a rumor. Um, until it's actually factual, you don't know. Um, and the rumors is the one that's fueling it and fueling the, the stock price to go up, up, up. Um, and then whether that rumor is true or not, that's when you see at the end of the, at the end of the day, when the price either goes up because the rumor is true or it goes down because you find out, Hey, they're not getting any funding, things like that. Um, so when I look at ACTC, they're the, uh, reason, you know, they help, you know, Proterra become public. Um, so when I'm thinking about that, if they do get funding, that stock is going to continue to jump. It's a blank check company. Um, so that's when I started getting into it. Uh, I believe I got into it. It was like 14, 90 or something. I started diving into it um, and then just ride the wave, right? You know, as it goes up, don't buy anymore. If it drops below 14, then I'm going to continue to buy more and more and more. Um, this past week, I'm looking at it now, it went up $2.25. That's pretty good. Um, but if you look at the three month, it's actually down, right? So it's down roughly $8. It's been up to uh, $26, $28 before, and now it's at 17 so you still have a gap to fill there, um, which for me, I, still, I viewed it as an opportunity to get in before it reaches the top or reaches the top that it once been before. Um, so that's some of the things that I, that I mean when I'm looking into as far as, you know, packages, um, some of the things that I'm hearing about as far as electric vehicles moving towards that. Um, I'm, I'm all for electric vehicles and electric stocks. Um, I always tell people, you know, for me, in my portfolio, I try to get into it as much as I can. Whenever those stocks are on a downtrend, I'm trying to buy more and more and more because I know, um, personally, I feel we're in the next two, three years with our, you know, government being the way it is and, and you know, who's controlling the government, the House and the Senate. I think we're going to continue to push more and more and more towards electric vehicles, charging stations, things like that, uh, clean energy type of things. Um, so those are the stocks that I'm looking to invest in because those, those are the stocks I view making the biggest jump. Um, so that's what I wanted to talk about in this episode. Like I said, I wanted to keep it short and sweet. I want to keep you all focused on, you know, some of the things that I'm looking into. Um, the infrastructure package is big. Keep your mind on that. Any stocks that are, you know, involved in that type of package, I think, you know, they're going to continue to go up and down, up and down until it's passed, right? Just like with the rumor I was talking about. As long as the rumor is continuing to, to, to turn, you're going to see these stocks continue to rise and go up and go up and go up and go up and go down and go down. Um, just look for those opportunities. Once you get those opportunities, get into it. Stay firm. If your stock price goes lower, you know, what I always say, average down. If it goes up, then that's perfect. You know, now you're making money. Um, but that's what I want to focus on on this episode. Check out all your clean energy stocks. Some of the clean energy stocks I talked about in my previous episodes. Those stocks are amazing to get into. Still good, um, you know, still good turnaround, still good time um, to get into them before they actually explode. Um, as far as the Bitcoin thing, when I look at that, um, like I said, Bitcoin is a very volatile you know, market. So if you're going to get into Bitcoin, just make sure you're getting in um, at a good time when it's on its downtrend. Like now it's on its downtrend. Um, and then as it starts to go back up, which it will, that's when you can get out and, you know, make your profits. Um, and then as far I know some, somebody asked me about NFTs last year. I'm still big on NFTs. I think NFTs are amazing. As you can see, Playboy did amazing. Um, if you go look at Playboy stock, you know, two, three months ago versus now, it's, it's, it's amazing. And that's one of the things that I love. Uh, when I first started hearing about NFTs and, you know, somebody mentioned Playboy to me, I, I jumped on it because I knew that's people. People want to, want to see that. You can make good money off of those type of um, investments. So that was something that people should look into. Uh, but as I always say, thank you all for joining this episode. I wanted to keep it short and sweet this week. Um, continue to support 
any comments, anything, any questions you have, drop a comment below and I definitely try to get to it in the next episode. Uh, sorry for the two week hiatus, uh, uh, but I definitely had to take some time to myself as always. Um, that way I'm always fresh and I can come back to you all with fresh new ideas. Um, like I always say, thank you for joining. God bless.